Um, people have been asking for this for a little bit, so I thought I would uh, give you a little tutorial about how to clean saves um, in for Skyrim. I've been using this method for coming up to a year now. Um, I've put in and pulled out again at least a couple of hundred mods in, those, in that time. And this process has let me um, maintain the same set of saves, the same character and everything all the way through that. So in theory, I've never tried it, but in theory this process should allow you to have a heavily modded game, be playing, pull all of your mods out and then um, clean your save and continue playing, in theory. Um, so hopefully this will help um, other streamers and other players um, recover their games for saves and things like that without having any issues. If, however, as a result of this, anyone points out something that um, that I could be doing better, then please do. But uh, this is the process that I've found to be most successful. So we'll get straight into it. I'm just going to bring my, uh, my desktop up. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Right, there's two tools you're going to need in order to do this. Both of them are on the Nexus. Uh, one is Save Game Script Cleaner. When I put this up on YouTube, I'll link to both of these, but uh, if you're watching this in the archive on Twitch, um, you'll need to search for these on the Nexus. So, Save Game Script Cleaner is the first one of them, and the other one is the Skyrim Save Cleaner. Now, both of these, um, both of these you'll need to download manually and unpack, and um, store them somewhere on your hard disk. I have them stored in my on my Skyrim drive, and it's just an executable basically for that one. And save game script cleaner, just another executable. So fairly small, fairly easy to use, fairly easy to unpack. I'll let you read the instructions um, on how to do that. Um, in the descriptions on the mod pages. But, as I say, dead easy. Right, before we uh, before we can clean a save, we need a save to clean. So, I will uh, drop into um, the game. Um, let me just switch OBS over, because I think you're probably still looking at my desktop. Let's uh, bring that back up. Um, right, so, what you will need to do, this is my current set of saves, I have actually just pulled a mod out, so this could be quite useful. Um, what you'll need to do is open the console, usually the uh, key top left of your keyboard, just below the escape key, and you will need to type in save, and a name for your save, let's call it uh, clean me, and a space, and the number one. So save space, name space, one and hit enter. Fairly straightforward. It will start running a save and once it's finished it will pop open um, a text document that I'll show you in a second once it's finished. Takes a little while. This is building a slightly different save to the way that normal full saves are made so it takes a little bit longer. Okay. And once you've done that, that's, that has actually just popped it up, but I don't think you can see it currently. So um, once that's done, just minimise that and uh, exit the game. Because we don't need Skyrim at the moment. So, once we're back here, you'll see that this, oops, let's get rid of that. this document here is what it's opened. Um, you don't actually need this, but it does pop it open just to let you know that it's it's finished. The first thing, the first tool we're going to run against that is the Skyrim Save Cleaner. This will open up this tiny little box. Completely unintuitively, you click the logo in the middle, and it'll ask you to go and find your your save locations, um, which I believe are under Documents. Um, documents, My Games, Skyrim, Saves. 
and you see I, it's limited it just to the ESS.txt files. This is one I did a while back. But cleanme.ess.txt is the one we need. Just double click that and it'll open up the um, appropriate list of ESS files. Double click the matching one here, cleanme.ess. And it will start this box here. And what it's doing is it's going through all of the um, all of the references in the game, having a look at what mods you've got, and taking out any that don't apply anymore. All of the uh, matching form IDs and references and things like that. Now, the reason why we're using two tools is that Skyrim Save Cleaner can only handle, or only deals with, um, is only designed to deal with form IDs, which are references to items in the game, quests, things like that. It doesn't deal with scripts. That's what we use Skyrim Script Cleaner for. Um, and it does take a little while to run through, as you can see. It's um, <laughs> an unfortunate side effect of me having God knows how many hundreds of mods installed. Um, nearly 400 now. So it's um, it's got a fair amount to go through. But it is comparatively quick. But we'll, uh, so it's found 1,851 form IDs out of a possible... 107,000 uh, in 66 seconds. We'll just uh, hit any key and it will start removing them from the, from the save. And again, this does take a little while. But the results generally are worth it, I have to say. Now we are recording this in front of a, a live Twitch audience, so if anyone has any questions about any of this, then please do shout out in the chat room. Otherwise we'll just have to sit here in silence. Uh, I have been asked the question, should this be done while the character is inside a room or anywhere? Um, it doesn't actually matter. You should be able to do this anywhere. You should be able to do this anywhere. You can occasionally get a better, uh, what, what people might call a cleaner save. But the thing is, it, uh, sorry, you might get a cleaner save if you are in a small area, um, like a breeze home or somewhere. However, we're modifying the the save itself, so it shouldn't make a huge amount of difference. Um, you should be able to do this pretty much anywhere. And I, ha I have done in the past, inside or outside. As I say, I will be putting this video up on YouTube later. Um, so if you've come in late or you're, uh, you'd like to watch this back again later, you should be able to. Um, it'll be a couple of days before I do that, but um, until then it will be available on the archive on Twitch. Okay, so we've removed 731 DLC and 1,109 vanilla form IDs. So a load of stuff that I didn't need. Um, and it's done it in about a mi well, about nearly two minutes. So, press in the key, and that's done. Now, this tool actually modifies the the save that we that we created. So, um, it doesn't really back it up or anything like that. So, there's, it's not going to ask me to save anything else at this point. Um, it is purely just modifying the existing save. Now, that one done. We're going to move on to the save game script cleaner. Uh, this tool looks fairly complicated, but I, I promise you, it is very easy. All we're going to do is click on the open button. We're going to navigate back to where our saves are stored. Um, we're going to open the same save that we've just been working on. You see here, get this up. And this tool is extremely easy. Um, all you're going to do is click on fix script instances. 
375 script instances removed, so these are orphan scripts, ones that no longer relate to a mod, ones that um, have been removed, or um, ones that have got no reference anymore, but are still sitting there taking up cycles. So, th I mean, this is a pr good practice to do, even if you're not changing any mods over a period of time, just to keep your, sa your saves clean, really. Um, while we're in here, I will point out something else as well. This does have the ability to um, to remove specific mod references from your game. So, for instance, recently I had um, I was having a couple of issues with convenient horses. The scripts got messed up a little bit, um, and I went used this to go and uh, to pull the scripts out of. Um, out of my save, so that the next time I logged back in with the same save, it was if as if convenient horses had never actually been installed, and it reinstalled it and, and all that kind of stuff. Something you may may or may not want to do, but it it's good to have it ha to know it has the ability to do that. Um, I'm just trying to remember which one it was. Yes, this one here. So. Clicking the mod editor uh, button, you just go down here, tick the mod you want to remove, de de you click on this button here, delete selected mod forms and delete selected mod scripts and that will remove everything that's, uh, that might be causing you some problems with that particular mod. So you can very easily remove specific instances of mods from your game. I don't need to do that at the moment. But what we will do is click Save. Um, it will overwrite the existing um, save, but it will create a backup in its own folder, as you can see here. And that's done. So that is your save cleaned. All you need to do is open, open Skyrim again, and we will load the save back up again. This will take me a couple of minutes because, as I said, I run a heavily modified game, and uh, it takes a little while to get to get back in. Bear with me one second. I'll switch you back into the stream. There we go. So we're going to load up our save, and you'll see that you now have the backup that was created in the last operation we took and you'll have this new version of the save right at the top. What we do is load that one and we'll give it a couple of minutes to load that up. You'll notice that I'm actually running the game with, with no audio currently and that's simply to stop any music playing um, that might mean part of this tutorial gets blanked by either Twitch or YouTube when I upload it. just makes life a little bit easier. Now, cleaning, the, uh, cleaning a particular mod out, as I was just discussing, um, it will even remove it to the point that the MCM menu um, has been removed. So you'll, you know, you, you'll need to wait for it to reload that again as well, if you choose to do that for a mod. This will just take a few more minutes. And here we are. We are back in game, all loaded up, 
we've ta cleaned all of our saves and the only thing I would suggest doing at this point once things have loaded again is uh, create a new save in game a new full save and that is cleaning saves dead straightforward only takes a few minutes um, and uh, leaves you with uh, the ability to have a character sa survive between various different um, various different um, mod changes. And yes, it will work for either NMM or MO. It's completely separate from from any of those things. Um, doesn't matter what mod manager you're using. It's the saves it's themselves you're cleaning. So. That should be it. Now, uh, I'll open up for any questions that we might have, in, any more questions we might have in the, the chat room, if anyone's got any. Other than that, I'll, um, I'll sign off at this point. Just give you guys a couple of, uh, couple of seconds to modify, uh, to uh, type. <laughs> Very easy to understand, thank you. No problem at all. That's um, that's basically it. I will wrap up there. This was a very quick ad hoc save cleaning tutorial because, as I said, I would do it <laughs> and uh, hopefully help some of you guys out. As I said, this video will be available in the Twitch archive for a while, but I'll also be uploading it to uh, YouTube as soon as I can. Um, and other than that, I will uh, speak to you guys later, and I will see you hopefully on Monday for uh, the next stream. Thanks very much, guys, and I will speak to you soon.